Many people say that when they get to heaven, they want to see all the people that have passed on before them. Their parents, their grandparents, their children, their family, their friends. We inherently believe that we're going to recognize these people when we get there, but what does the Bible say? Will we know each other in heaven? And will we recognize our loved ones in heaven? As a chaplain, I have a lot of conversations with a lot of families about life, and death, and life after death. And one of the natural ways of dealing with grief is to cling to some belief about heaven. Now, these beliefs don't necessarily take away the pain, but they do help us process and deal with our grief. And one of the truths that people seem to cling to the most is the fact that, that they're going to see them again. But what does the Bible say? Today, I want to give you four passages of Scripture that seem to indicate that we will recognize our loved ones and know them in heaven. But let me preface this by saying that as great and wonderful as it will be to be reunited with our friends and our family and catching up on lost time, I really don't think that that's going to be our primary focus. I believe that our primary focus is going to be worshiping God and enjoying His presence forever. And the conversation isn't going to be about the good old days, but rather catching up on the days of grace. Talking about the goodness of God, His unconditional love, will be overwhelmed with a sense of awe that's just going to lead to more worship and praise in the company of other believers, especially our loved ones, our family, and our friends. Remember, heaven is far more about God than it is about us. Here's four verses that shed some light on the truth that we will recognize our loved ones in heaven. In 2 Samuel chapter 12, you have David, whose infant son has just passed away. And he says, I will go to him, but he cannot come to me. Now, this truth didn't take away his sorrow, but the fact that David knew that he would see his son again and would know him helped him to process and deal with the grief and move on with his life. In Matthew chapter 17, you have Jesus taking Peter, James, and John to the Mount of Transfiguration, and there Moses and Elijah appear. And Peter says, if you wish, let us make three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. In other words, unless Moses and Elijah are wearing name tags, Peter knew who they were. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, Paul writes to believers who are grieving the loss of loved ones, and he offers them this comfort saying that one day we're going to be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and forever be with them. Now the them refers to loved ones who are now in the presence of the Lord. And the implication is, is that we're going to know them and we're going to be known by them. In Luke chapter 16, you have Abraham, Lazarus, and the rich man, and all of them are recognizable and known after death. And then there's a handful of verses in John and 1 Corinthians chapter 15 that, that seem to indicate that people recognize Jesus after the resurrection in his glorified body. And so I think that based on these verses and many others, that we can safely say that we will know each other and be known by each other. Now, Knowing each other in heaven is one of the great blessings that we have to look forward to. But the greatest blessing is going to be when we are in the very presence of the one who created us and enjoy him forever and ever. Amen.